Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Queda poco para que nuestro nuestra casa se acabe. Hay que ayudarla y hay que cuidarla y amarla. Ya no hay plan B. Hay que este es el único, como les dije, es que es sorprendente, es el único planeta en el universo que alberga vida. Y si es el único, si la si el planeta se acaba, la vida se acaba. senadores de la república sean gobiernos y senadores que legislen para la vida nosotros deberíamos tener la posibilidad de vivir en un planeta digno que no tengamos que estar luchando y protestando por esto si nosotros lo debemos haber merecido Además, la verdad, lo que pienso es que nosotros estamos atravesados en el planeta Tierra. Además de estar atravesados, lo estamos dañando. Para mí, lo más importante es la educación, porque se nacen, se cultivan los valores. Y ahí se, las personas empiezan a tomar conciencia, empiezan a cuidar el planeta Tierra. Si se educan a través de un bienestar, de sentir que uno ama al planeta Tierra y que uno lo quiere, de verdaderamente sentirlo y expresarlo a otras personas para comenzar con una protección, una campaña al medio ambiente. Pues unos senadores me dijeron que querían trabajar conmigo. Eh, aún así, eh, allá todo el tema de la contaminación, yo creo que sí sirvió de algo porque desde allá pudimos enviar nuestro mensaje al Congreso de la República, eh, que es que los senadores hagan políticas a favor de la vida, que legislen para la vida. Melania. Yes, sir. Initiate meme mode. Meme mode initiated. Guys, the left can't meme. It is illegal to have a sense of humor on the left. That's why they can't meme. You need humor to meme. Conservatives are the only one allowed to still laugh in society. Hey, Libs, by the way. Guess who we're all laughing at? You. <laughs> Middle 
piece, a lot speaking with Kurdish voices, have come uh, with the desire to cross the channel and get to the UK. under pressure to try and saying that they would try on all possible ways to reach UK as soon as possible before Brexit happening. Uh, they're mainly trying to reach UK through trucks that used to be, as, as we know, as we all know, through Calais, but they're now uh, in Belgium uh, in different uh, highway parkings trying to get into trucks, hide themselves to, to reach UK through Zeebrugge and Calais. <laughs> At the moment they're having lunch, it's very cold. Uh, in the background you can hear people cutting down trees and we're told that's to make it less easy to camp out at night. Uh, there's probably around 300 people here, uh, mainly men, but also women, children, uh, young families. They all are looking to probably get to the UK at one point or another. Once the ones we know uh, what it actually will mean for them or for the, the rest of, uh, of Europe, uh, but still they see it like a change, they see it like something uh, which will make it way more difficult for them to probably go or slash leave in the uh, UK. Either, yeah, they born a certain way and you say they got to be that way. It's not, that's not, that's not life, man. I mm -hmm. watched my son from day one becoming to who she now eventually is coming to. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And for me, it's all about nothing changes with my love. Right. Nothing changes with my responsibilities. Right. You know what I'm saying? So only thing I got to do now. Hi, I'm Ron Reagan, an unabashed atheist, and I'm alarmed by the intrusions of religion into our secular government. That's why I'm asking you to support the Freedom From Religion Foundation, the nation's largest and most effective association of atheists and agnostics, working to keep state and church separate, just like our founding fathers intended. Please support the Freedom From Religion Foundation. Ron Reagan. Uh, John McAfee, and I'm really happy to be able to talk to fellow adult males without the presence of women and children. Thank God, first time in decades. Now, what I'd like to talk about today is but. Why? Well, they're very important to some of us men. I mean, we're not all breast men, and we're not all leg men. Some of us are butt men. I mean, I became a butt man at the age of seven when my babysitter bent over in front of me to pick up a pair of shoes. I had a fucking epiphany. Yeah, so I've been a butt man ever since, and oh, it makes sense. I mean, it's right there. A, a half a centimeter from that, that golden triangle of our desire. You know, suddenly, if you, can't, if you can't see it, smell it, or somehow or other notice it, then uh, get a pair of glasses, because it's there. Now, what's nice about that? Beautiful little butt. Oh, it's softer, smoother, warmer by 0.7 degrees Fahrenheit, and tighter uh, than any vagina on the face of the earth. And far, far more important, it's deeper. Now, you try to get a fist of any vagina on this planet further than this without causing great discomfort, well, <laughs> you deserve a fucking medal. Can't be done. But up an asshole, fuck me. Pass my elbow more times than I can count and you have experienced exactly the same fucking thing. Uh, don't lie to me about this shit. So, I mean, it's pretty fucking obvious. It is a sex toy of some kind, else it would not have been positioned where it's positioned, uh, nor would it have been so much fun. Now, my presidential campaign is going to be based entirely upon anal sex. Uh, you gotta have some platform, and quite frankly, I, 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 I couldn't think of one, and so this is going to be mine. Uh, and this is for men only, and it's gonna be done in code, and I must leave you now, because well, the point of the opposition is to hold the government to account. We were elected on that clear mandate to oppose Brexit, and we will continue to do that. 
I'm very, very worried about this move now to uh, not allow any extension to the transition period. That's very dangerous. That means no deal is now firmly on the table. We've basically got to the point where we've got to the airport, but we have no idea where that destination is going to be. And imagine if you get slightly delayed. Wouldn't you want the safety net of knowing you could still land on a deal? I'm really worried about that. I think it's a sign of things to come.